Pixelmator tutorial. In my um, last Pixelmator tutorial a couple of weeks ago, I covered um, double exposure. So in this tutorial, I'm going to cover masks, and we're going to achieve the same type of effect, double exposure. But we're going to we're going to do it using masks, and we'll try and do some cool effect um, using text and brushes as well. So you can follow along if you want. Just use whatever image you want to um, you, you want to use. Put your and just end up putting your logo or your text over the top of it, but we'll try and finish with a, a cool effect. So, like I said, I'm going to add some um, text to this image, and we're going to go from left to right with the text as you look at the screen. So, I'm going to want to um, flip this, flip this um, image horizontally. So, I just go edit and flip horizontal. So now I've got the tree the other side. So, my mask, um, the tree is going to be behind my text here so we're gonna have a mask of my text using the tree um, and then we're going to want to um, add a new layer by clicking the little plus button here in our layers plus button and then I'm going to want to go to my tools and use the paint bucket tool if you haven't got your tools on the screen like this just press command and one which hides and shows your tools we you can go up here view um, and hide and show tools right there. So I've selected the paint bucket tool. I'm then going to select a color. So to select the colors, um, to select the colors, it is just uh, I think it's Shift Command and C. Hides and show the colors. Yep, Shift Command and C. But likewise, again, you can go to the top view, um, hide and show colors right there. And I'm just going to select white. Now, remember, you can select whatever images it is you like. I've just deselected my paint bucket tool up here. So I've reselected my paint bucket tool, select the color white, and then I'm going to make sure my layer, my blank layer, is um, highlighted at the top. And I'm just going to left click and, um, and it will fill my, um, my layer for me. So I'm then going to go back and choose my um, selection tool and drag this layer, I'm just going to left click and hold, drag it below the background layer. So now I'm going to add some text. So I'm going to click the t text on the tools bar and just drag out an area for my, um, just click to add my text. Now if you can't see your text it's because it goes behind the background layer so just drag it on top of the background layer for now. And then all I'm going to do is type in 13. Now I want this, um, I want these numbers a little bit closer. So I could do one of two things. I could do two numbers um, on separate layers, or I could just use this like so and make it um, double click it so it's highlighted and make it 10% so it just drags the, um, drags the text a little bit closer. I could do it even more so I could go minus um, just double click in the box and I could type minus 15 and see how close that takes me it takes me a little bit closer which I'm a little bit happy with and then I'm going to want to resize my text so I've kept it highlighted you can see I'm gonna go here where it says 200 and I'm gonna type in 500 now this is all personal preference so whatever size you want to use um, and I'm just very much using it ad hoc here I'm just best guess so you can't see the text so you have to drag it out because we've resized it these little um, control points here around the text drag it out and then move the text to where you want it so is this text big enough yes I'm happy with this text so then what I'm going to do I'm going to right click on this text and duplicate the text so I've got a copy of the 13 here and I'm just going to double click it so it highlights it and I'm going to type in the words design double click so it highlights we can't see all of design because it's too big and it's outside the, the control points let me let me demonstrate that for you so it's outside of these so I'm just going to double click and then make this text um, 200 in size so type it in press plus I've got two S's there and now am I happy with the size of this text um, and I'm just going to move it here yes I'm happy with the size of the text and I'm going to leave it right here um, so it seems as though it's on top of this grass and like I say 
I'm just sort of going with the flow here and seeing what happens. Um, so this is our text and this is this is where we're at at the moment. Now, we're getting to a bit of a trickier part now. So I'm gonna drag the design underneath or below the 13 and the design is still highlighted with the design still highlighted. I'm gonna left click um, command and highlight the 13 text and drag them both below the background layer, okay? So then I'm gonna highlight the background layer in my layers, just so I've deselected both of the others. That's the only reason. Now, we're gonna create a mask using this number 13 here. So the way we do this, we highlight the layer. Now on the placeholder right here, I'm gonna command and left click on the placeholder. And if you look at the screen, you'll see the outline as a dotted outline of what I have got selected. Then I'm gonna to go to my background layer at the top, highlight it, right click, and click add mask. So all it's gonna do is mask this background layer, is gonna hide behind everything else apart from the outline that you can see here. So right click, add mask, and now you can just see the background layer and all we've got is our bottom white layer showing. Okay, simple. Then I'm gonna press Command D on my keyboard and it deselects the little dots around the outside, you can see. Now, if you look in the, this background layer at the top, the mask layer, I can select either or of these um, images. I can select the background or I can select the mask of 13, the number 13, okay? This is annotated by a blue thick line around the one that you have selected. So we want selected the 13. And now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna feather these edges out a little bit and show a bit more of the background, deleting some of the white by using a brush. So we're gonna go up here, I'm gonna go view, hide or show brushes. At the moment we're showing our brushes, but it's underneath here. So I can see my brushes there. If you can't see them, Command plus four, hides and shows your brushes. So we've got our brushes right here. Now, on our brushes here, we've got this little tools, this little um, settings with the arrow next to it. So select it, and then just make sure you're selected, or you have selected smoke. And again, this is personal preference. You can choose one of the others, just play around with the, um, with the images. The important thing is, is that one, you've got the 13 selected, and two, we have our brush selected in our tools. Now, we're gonna select one of these smoke um, brushes, one of these smoke shapes, and then I'm gonna drag down the diameter until it's around 50, 56. So I've selected this one here, um, and I've dragged it down until it's around 50, 56. And then all I'm gonna do with is my paintbrush selected up here. I'm just gonna feather the edges of this 13 so it takes away, I'm just gonna keep pressing and pressing so it takes away the edges. You can either keep clicking left click or you can hold and just sort of um, rub out or reveal more of the background. So you can see all I'm doing is sort of revealing the background. And I'm just going to break up a little bit the actual shape of the number. That's all I'm doing, just randomly, I'm not doing it in any sort of methodical order, I'm just, um, there's no method to my, um, to my shape, all I'm doing is just randomly removing the um, the outline or some of the outline of the number but I'm being careful to still leave the number um, visible now all I'm doing is showing some of this some of this tree here so you get the idea of what I'm doing So I'm not completely removing the number, but I am breaking the number up a little bit. 
Now, um, I'll show you what I'm going to do with that um, that bottom part in a minute. All I'm doing is breaking this number up a little bit more, and I want to reveal, if I can, as much of the tree. So all I've got is this left click. I've just got left click held. All I'm doing is breaking up the actual shape. So you can see what I've done there. And then I'm going to go along this um, this bottom edge here. And again, just to break up this text a little bit. And then when I've got to here, I want this to be quite light. When I've got to here, I'm going to select... I'm going to select another another smoke layer that's a little bit denser. I'm going to drag the um, diameter down a little bit and let's just see what happens here. Okay, so I've just selected another one. And all I'm doing is um, is colouring this in a little bit darker. I just want the darker the darker bottom to the um, I just want to see what it looks like. If I had to undo it all, I would undo it all. That's not no dramas, but I think it looks okay with the dark bottom like this, and you can still see the grass quite easily. Um, just going along, um, so you can still see the grass quite easily. I'm going to go to back to my original, um, back to my original brush, and I'm, again, I'm just going to break this up a little bit. I'm not gonna sort of go overboard with it. I still want you to be able to see what it says. And up here, I'm just gonna roughly color in just to break the white up, really. Show a few more of those leaves. So, um, I am sort of gonna leave it like this, and you can go as far as you like with this, and and. You could sort of add a few filters to it and see what happens to the colour. Um, I might add a few and just display them at the end just so we can see what happens to the colour. But this is using masks and this is using brushes to feather edges away to break up an actual shape um, that you've put in using the mask. So remember this 13 is the mask um, and so if I turn this, this mask layer off I just have my normal 13 design um, on a white background. but. You know we've um, we've made quite a um, quite a nice a nice sort of composition there if you like and it's a really simple effect and you can make a fantastic screensaver or you can do something really cool with your logo or your own sort of name or you could even use faces um, I would suggest using black and white but you could use faces to um, to, to create yourself a nice um, nice effect so I hope you were uh, enjoyed this um, this tutorial just so you know my videos are released every Friday and I just try and mix them up as, as much as I can um, as and when I get an idea so um, I will try and do some more FCPX ones like I've promised and obviously in light and motion 5 and all that good stuff will keep coming so thanks a lot for watching thanks a lot for your support catch you all later bye